The House of Representatives has passed for second reading the 2023 Appropriation Bill laid recently before the joint session of the National Assembly by President Muhammad Buhari on Friday last week. Before it was passed, the bill was debated by members which may not be unconnected to the total sum of the federal expenditure of 20.51 trillion naira and the implementation of capital expenditure of the last budget. Emmanuel Ehijene completes the report. In their various contributions to the debates on the proposed budget during plenary, some members expressed worry over the humongous borrowing by the federal government in the past years. They also raised concerns over the duplication of some elephant projects, among others. Mr. Speaker, we are not looking at budget, the project duplications. Last time, Mr. Speaker, 2021, let me take you back. Ministry of Works, in their budget, these items they said total general repairs from Gurore, Mayo Balwa, and Jerin. The next line, they said general repairs, Mayo Balwa, Jerin, and Zin. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, what is also sad is that the level of borrowing that has been done last budget we did 3.5 trillion. Today we are going to borrow. The debt servicing we are going to do for next budget is going to be from 3.6 we are going to do 6.31. Mr. Speaker, there is one salient issue that we have not been addressing as a parliament with the national budget. That is the personnel cost. Mr. Speaker, let me call the attention of the committee chairman that every MDA, they have a surplus under personnel cost and it is now being investigated by the ICPC. So we must focus our attention on the issue of this personnel code. There are a lot of things that are going wrong with the personnel code. With the passage of the bill for second reading, ministries, departments and agencies are expected to appear before the various House committees to defend their budgets. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.